Hello there. If you've discovered that your system doesn't support Windows 11, watch this short video because you might find that you can fix it for free and really simply, uh, just following a few little tips. Um, first thing that you'll need to do is run the PC health check and what you can do is go in the search field and just do a little search for it and if you've got it just give it it'll come up and you give it a click and it'll uh, it'll fire up like so if you haven't got it if you discover you haven't got it you can download it from uh, Microsoft's website for free and there's a, a link to that in the description below so once you've once this has fired up you've got this little button here that says check now for Windows 11 give that a click and wait for it if it comes up with this telling you about TPM you're watching the right video um, keep watching and hopefully I'll be able to help you to sort that out the, there's a pretty good chance I think uh, that your motherboard might already have it and it's just not been enabled that's certainly what happened with me the other thing to be aware of is uh, and by the way TPM stands for trusted platform model it's some kind of security chip as far as I can gather it's not always called that so for example on my system I've got an Intel it's called PTT which stands for platform trust technology it's probably a good idea to just figure out who the manufacturer of your motherboard is uh, and you can get that information at a glance by looking at the name on the black screen just before uh, when you're booting up just before Windows loads. So with all of this in mind what you'll need to do is restart your machine um, in BIOS uh, and you, you do that by going to restart and holding down the F2 key and then I shall walk you through the next little steps. So when it's restarting just hold down F2 or keep tapping the F2 key and that should when it fires up again fire it up in the BIOS let's see if it does All right, there we go there's our BIOS right there it may well not look exactly like this one uh, but they're all much of a muchness as far as I can gather kind of similar stuff going on so most mostly um, as far as I can gather you'll be looking in the uh, advanced mode so activate advanced it's not guaranteed guaranteed to be in the same place on every system you might need to check with your uh, kind of with your manufacturer or something um, but somewhere in advanced, maybe under security or something like that. So here I am inside of advanced and my particular one on my Intel is inside of the old um, PCH FW, FW configuration. I'm going to give that a click and here we go platform trust technology it says and it's disabled so I'm going to go click on that one and make it enabled and then what you should find is you get this dialog comes up on the screen like that and you can just go ahead and click OK on it exactly uh, and then you need to just save the changes and reboot. That's usually done with F10, so I'm going to press F10 on my keyboard and save and reset it says, and I'm going to say yes please, thank you very much and I'll see you in a minute when it's rebooted. So, 
now we've restarted it let's go and have another look at that PC health check app bring that one up and see if it's done the job for us I'm going to click on check now and yay there we go now it's sorted um, that worked for me I hope it works for you too thank you for watching bye now